Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, uh, we've got a video that's going to answer a lot of the questions that I get on a day-to-day -day basis on where to find information about this ship or a lot of other vessels. So we're going to go through a couple of sites that uh, I pretty frequently use as the curator of a maritime museum and that uh, I think it'll be fun for you to look through and maybe even worthwhile for you to use in your own personal projects. But first, here's a word from the museum. I am Vice Admiral Retired Doug Katz, and I served as the commanding officer of the USS New Jersey from 1987 to 1989, when we deployed in 88 to represent the United States at the Olympics in Korea and for the Australian Bicentennial. Talk about an honor and privilege. This ship rose to the occasion in every respect and made a lasting impression during that period. Frankly, it just didn't get any better than that. I am here to ask you to consider donating whatever you can to the battleship to keep her looking as we all remember from World War II through the 90s to the great museum she is today in Camden, New Jersey. Thank you all and all the best. So, uh, the first site that I use pretty regularly is NavSource. NavSource has a lot of uh, open source pictures on it of ships. Many of these ships are detailed, or many of these pictures are uh, detailed. You can blow them up pretty high. You can take them from that to use for other things because, like I said, they're open source. You can search based on ship. I usually just type into the search bar NavSource Battleship New Jersey and it takes me right to her page and I scroll through and find what I'm looking for. A lot of questions I get about, hey, I'm building a model of New, New Jersey at this time period or that time period. Well, those pictures all have really good descriptions that uh, tells you when they were taken uh, and they're, they're usually you can blow them up big enough to see what's going on there. So. Oftentimes that's where I start when I'm working on my own modeling. Uh, and I think it's a good place for you guys to start too. Uh, while I tend to use NavSource mostly for pictures of New Jersey, there's a ton of other things on that website. So be sure to click around. A site I absolutely love. Um, it's run by an acquaintance of mine here in the Historic Naval Ships community is uh, maritime.org. And that is a great site for you to find scanned uh, manuals and also a lot of booklets of general plans and these were all scanned by volunteers and uploaded by a volunteer and this website is volunteer run uh, so the booklet of general plans for a couple different configurations of the iowa class battleships are on there uh, and of course that's just a minority there are a ton of other ships represented these documents at one point were all hosted by the historic naval ships association website but when that site went in a different direction the uh, former volunteer who was maintaining that started this site so that all of that stuff is still out there for industry professionals like myself uh, or generic researchers or interested parties like yourselves to go through. I find this website real right here to be helpful. This is where I go to look up the ship's cruise books. We have a number of printed copies of the ship's cruise books throughout her various uh, commissions. But uh, if somebody asks me while I'm working from home or uh, I need to send them a picture of, say, their family member in the cruise book, it's really easy to go on there and send them this link. Chances are you do not have a complete set of the Battleship New Jersey cruise books at home uh, or other ships for that matter. That This site has a lot of U.S. Navy cruise books. I won't say all of them. They're missing the last of Battleship New Jersey's, and uh, some ships aren't represented there at all. But uh, they have scanned probably hundreds of U.S. Navy cruise books and posted them up there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a cruise book is uh, basically a, the same of, as a high school yearbook, just made by the ship's company. And uh, we'll probably do another video where we go in more depth on that in the near future. But if you'd like to look through New Jersey's or any other ship's cruise books, check out that link. I like going through the various battleship cruise books uh, for World War II. It's real interesting that they were not broken up in the same way 
uh, the, the crew, the various divisions of the crew are not the same from one battleship to the next. You would think it's a standard thing. Uh, however, the different battleships have different divisions. And so that's just a cool thing. Another thing I like to look at is uh, which uh, minorities are able to get into which ratings. So up until 1948, the Navy is segregated. So if you look at New Jersey's World War II cruise books, you see nothing but white men. As you go through the later cruise books, you start to see uh, African Americans and other minorities getting into other ratings and officer positions and then ascend those ratings. And by the 1980s cruise books, you start to see uh, black captains and admirals and other positions like that. Uh, so it's there are a number of ways that you can look through these. Uh, or maybe you're just interested in your time on a specific ship and you can't find your cruise book and you want to look through that. In addition to the photos of individual sailors, there's also a lot of photos of the ship taken underway uh, and, and of life on board. So that's an interesting source to look through if you're interested in a particular time period or vessel. Not a uh, website per se, but another YouTube co uh, content creator that I listen to religiously is Drakenafel. So uh, be sure to go over to his Warships Guide YouTube page where he does uh, a lot of content, primarily about World War II ships, but a ton of other stuff out there. And he has both five minute discussions of individual ships and much larger uh, documentaries. And he's been doing this for a lot longer than I have, so chances are you've already heard of him. But if you haven't, head over there. In a lot of ways, he does this better than I do. Navy History and Heritage Command maintains uh, some different resources online, my favorite of which are probably the U.S. Navy Spring Styles books. Uh, the Spring Styles are a uh, list of proposed designs. And in some instances, these spring styles are the preliminary designs of what would later become independence class light aircraft carriers or Atlanta class cruisers, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and other times they are for classes of ships that were never built. The spring styles names comes from uh, the annual war gaming that the uh, Naval War College did, it still does. But uh, following these, they would put out requests for designs based on uh, things that they had wargamed and thought had showed promise. And so much like the spring style uh, catalogs that people used to get who were older than me uh, when, when they used to send out catalogs every year, uh, the Navy called them their spring styles. So only books one and three are available. So we're missing some pretty key stuff, but really interesting uh, preliminary designs. Check out the blueprint for turning an Iowa into an aircraft carrier. Uh, another site, which I believe is also maintained by Naval History and Heritage Command, is DAMFIS, Dictionary of American Naval Fighting Ships. And that is uh, pretty similar to a Wikipedia entry about each individual ship that has ever served in the Navy as a commissioned vessel. But it is maintained and created by the Navy, so you can actually cite it in papers, unlike uh, Wikipedia. Thanks, Danfis, for getting me through college. NavWeps is a site that you absolutely have to check out. Uh, there are a number of different places in there. I use it primarily for looking up facts about the various guns that this ship carried and every caliber of gun that the U.S. Navy ever used is on there, and there's a lot of other Navy stuff on there too. They also have sections that list the various orders of battle of different navies during specific battles. So you can go and look at which ships were involved and which squadrons they were in in that combat. I use that section a lot. Uh, and there's a section on there that has, uh, I'll, I'll call them articles for lack of a better term, but uh, articles written by users of the site that uh, are subject matter experts in one field or another that, that are very interesting to look through. Another page that I use frequently is the Jerseymen's page. 
Uh, this page is maintained by volunteers here at the museum, and it's where they have posted all of our museum era uh, jersey mints. You'll notice that there, there's gaps in there. That's not gaps in the completeness of the website. It is gaps in when the museum was able to produce this documentation. Most notably in recent years, we have not been uh, producing this content, but as someone who only started working on the battleship three years ago, it has been an invaluable resource for me to be able to go back and read through these and see what the museum was doing in years past. If I was able to take the time to read through all of these, I, w I am sure I would be a much better curator than I am today. I just haven't gotten to them yet. Three years isn't that long of a time if you think about it. For those of you who like the footage that we include on some of our videos, you've got to check out the National Archives. They've got a ton of open source uh, footage that was originally created during the ship's active life. Not necessarily all on this ship, of course, but uh, it's been digitized and is relatively searchable. We're going to do another video later on where I talk about the books I have on my bookshelf, but be sure to check out Naval Institute Press and their uh, catalog and offerings. They're constantly printing new books and reprinting old books that have been out of print for a while and they're too expensive for me to buy. Uh, so I check on them every couple of months and uh, well, let's just say my, my birthday and Christmas list is pretty frequently exclusively Naval Institute Press offerings and uh, a lot of times I don't wait for my birthday to get the next book that they release. I have a stack of books next to my night table that is taller than my night table, primarily Naval Institute Press books that I'm that are still in line to be read. Uh, another source that we've talked about in another video but you might be interested in is the Secretary of the Interior's Standards for Historic Vessel Preservation. It's just a PDF document that you can read through, but that's basically my Bible as a curator trying to preserve a historic vessel. Uh, and the last two sources, hopefully you've already heard of, they are the Historic Naval Ships Association website and the Museum Ships website and various other social media pages. So make sure you look up those two organizations. HINSA is an official organization that has conferences. I'm a member of it. They collectively represent museum warships around the world. Museum Ships is a volunteer-run organization that uh, the person involved in that, or the person who started that, does for free, for fun, for the love of museum ships, and just uses it to support museum ships like Battleship New Jersey and the hundreds of other museum ships around the world. Those are two great places to start looking if you're planning a trip and you want to know, hey, are there any museum ships nearby? You would be surprised some of the places where you can find museum ships. Uh, believe it or not, my little sister isn't as into museum ships as I am, but she's always amazed that whenever we go on family vacations, even to landlocked places, that I'm able to drag her to maritime museums. But of course, the very best resource out there on maritime history is Battleship New Jersey. We do our best to answer as many comments and uh, social media posts as possible. But if you aren't being answered there, you want to guarantee that uh, we get your question, send it to education at battleshipnewjersey.org. And myself or one of my coworkers here in the CNE department, uh, here in the curatorial and education department, will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the discussion section below, and we'll get back to as many of them as we can. Also, if you have any other great maritime resources, be sure to drop them down there. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, but also from another, a number of other organizations, including viewers like you. Your support in the last year has allowed us to go from making one video a week to making five a week. So please keep supporting us so we can keep making content like this. And remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you're notified when we put out new stuff. Thanks for watching.